Hello everyone, welcome to my NASDAQ YouTube channel. This is Johnny. In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to install PyHole into your doc server and acting as a middle DNS server to block all your ads for your entire home network. What is PyHole? PyHole basically is a DNS server which will receive all your DNS requests and the filtering for those add DNS requests and then passing all other requests to your another upstream DNS server. There's a couple of nice features, easy to install, lightweight, and it's the most important free. Those three features is the most important part to me to use it. This is my home topology before I used and the ad filtering system to help me to reduce the ad in my home network. It's a very typical topology using a Wi-Fi router, which providing DNS, DHCP service, and the internet service to your in-time home network. My previous video, you will find it from my video description about the OpenWRT Docker. I used it in a virtual environment to act in as a middleman between my Wi-Fi router and my home network. All traffic goes through OpenWRT, OpenWRT will filter it before it's sent to the internet. There are a couple of reasons for me to transfer it to a pie hole. One reason is a reporting function is much more information I can get from a dashboard and the web interface is also much beautiful and modern than OpenWRT. The installation part is also simple and easy comparing to the OpenWRT. I listed the traffic flow from my network to Pyho Docker and then how it routed to the internet. You can tell the network traffic actually directly go to the Wi-Fi router to internet, but DHCP DNS traffic will go through Pi or Docker. So now let's start to install it. As I said before, we're gonna use Docker to install Pi Hole, which is I think it's the easiest way, also the best way to do this installation. So you can find the Docker install button from the home page. Click on it, it will jump to a GitHub page to show you how to run PyHole Docker. There's a two ways to install PyHole Docker. One is using Docker Compose. You can just copy this Docker Compose example file and put it into docker-compose.yml file and then using docker compose hub command to bring it up. Simple and easy. Another way is using docker run.sh file to do that. Similar, which is what I'm using right now. Just copy, whole thing. No need to change one word. And then log into your docker machine. So in my list machine, I already installed the Docker. I already installed the Potainer. Just uh, quickly show you the Potainer part, which we are going to use it to manage our Docker's in the future. The hardware is an old machine I had before. It's a thin client, HP thin client, 510. Only have two core and I put 4 gig of RAM in there. This um, 512 gig of RAM used by video card. Right now it's 3.6 available. I have Potainer installed before. Let's go back to the command line. So we can uh, compose this Docker Docker underscore run.sh paste what we copied from the 
GitHub web page, uh, docker underscore run dot sh file. Control X, yes, save it. Just double check the file and then I make it executable. What you need to do is just run it. That will bring your Docker up and running. I already downloaded it before, so there's a uh, lot of uh, process be saved. I don't need to download the image. I brought it up before, and uh, that will save us um, probably one or two minutes for downloading all the images. Right now, they're just starting up the PyHole container. Once it starts up, then we can directly access the port 80 for the dashboard. So they have a London password being assigned it. So you may need it to use it to log in. So now the system should be up and running and we can just refresh our container list. You should be able to see that PyHo is running on LC status. You can take a look at the memory usage, CPU usage from container statistic page. At the same time, we're going to try to access the dashboard. So we are going to use in HTTP rather than using HTTPS. So we're going to go to admin panel. So now you can see there's uh, 81k domains on block list. Right now we have one client which most likely will be local machine. There's a 47. We can log in with the password we got from the, the command line. So there's um, 47 queries so far. Uh, from the dashboard you can generate your own whitelist and then you can put a blacklist in here. One thing I would like to show you is uh, settings. So after you install the PyHole, you may want to configure the DNS settings. By default, you will get those two IP v4 Google ECS DNS. What I would like to do, I don't want to use this, I want to use an open DNS. The reason why is those are family safe DNS server. So look at the open DNS family shield is especially geared toward protect your family. So they filtered, they automatically block the four categories. So in this case, this is a family safe DNS. The reason why using them, when PyHole received that DNS request, automatically we using our blacklist to block all ads. But there are some website categories which is not family safe, but they are not belong to ads list. So if we are using pub, other public DNS, like a Google DNS, Level 3 Komodo, DNS.watch, Cloudflare DNS, those not family safe DNS requests will still go through. But if we tell in PyHole to use upstream DNS uh, server using those two family safe shared DNS server, then those four categories will be automatically fil filtered. That's a reason, that's one reason you might want to change. Another thing is DHCP server. Right now, I'm using a Wi-Fi router to do DHCP. That's, it is fine. Once you did that, you have to change one thing. On your wireless router DNS settings, let them point to 192.168.2.8. 
you might want to change that to point to layer. So we are going to my home Wi-Fi router. Let's take a look. The DNS settings. You might want to change those two DNS settings to your PyHole Docker. So in this case, when your home devices send a DNS request to your home router, it will automatically forward to your PyHole router to filter it. That's a necessary step to do. If you don't want to change your DNS settings on your Wi-Fi router, then you can change your DHCP server. So for example, in my home network, you can do 201.192.168.2.230 and the router will be point to 2.1 which is your home router as I show you in my diagram this is my home router it's just telling all your network devices when they go into gateway they gonna go to the home Wi-Fi route but DSCP DNS will all comes from your Pi hole docker after that your settings completely done then your home is safe and you are got ads free for your home network save your bandwidth save your time that's all for today's video Thank you for watching. Please give me a thumb up and subscribe my video channel if you haven't.